Hello, everyone. I'm Hao Cao from Tsinghua University. Today, I will talk about our recent work, Swarm Map, Scaling Up Real-Time Collaborative Visual Slam at the Edge. This work is working with my collaborators Jing Ao, Longfei, Jialin, Xiao Wu, and under supervision of Professor Zheng Yang and Professor Yun Hao Liu. Slam, which means simultaneous localization and mapping, will calculate the pose of the camera and the meantime reconstruct the surrounding environment among various approaches. Visual slime-based methods have hit the mainstream of location-based ubiquitous applications in recent years and now have been widely applied in many scenarios, both in industrial applications and in our daily life. With the size of mapping area expanding rapidly, collaborative visual slime that involves multiple agents has been attracting growing interest from both academia and industry, which plays a key role in emerging mobile applications such as search and rescue, inventory automation, and multi-user AI gaming. Let me briefly introduce the architecture of a typical collaborative slime system. Most of these systems are equipped with a centralized edge node, which performs computation-intensive tasks, enabling the agent to run the lightweight slime from the end. Just as shown, each agent localizes itself and builds a surrounding local map in real time. To improve the map accuracy, each agent periodically sends its local map to the edge server. Once received the local map, edge server optimizes the map and the field map from various agents. The server maintains a global map which contains each agent's map and uh, sends the optimized map to the each agent to improve the localization accuracy. However, we measure the bandwidth requirements of the three state-of-the-art systems in different number of agent settings. The results are listed in the figures. As the number of agents growing, the bandwidth consumption exceeds the capacity of the indoor Wi-Fi, and the large data storage overhead become boundless as the agent's number growing and continuously explores the new areas. The location arrows are also eventually exceed the requirements of both indoors and outdoors. Thus, we come to the conclusion that as more agents get involved, the overhead dramatically increase. Running real-time collaborative visual slime on edge environment becomes increasingly complex, facing several challenges. The first challenge is that Mac synchronization stresses the network bandwidth. The life circle of the collaborative visual slime system consists of call start and maintenance two sessions. In the call start session, the agent builds the map of the entire space and transfer all local maps to the edge server. Once the global map generation had been completed, the SLAM system enters the long-term maintenance station, during which each agent regularly revisits each site and calibrates the mapping offset or deletes outdated map points. However, since map elements are tightly coupled, a minor modification on a single map element will spread to many other elements. For example, when we simply delete an outdated map point, the relationship of the map point should also be deleted. That is, its corresponding frames and its all relevant reference map points are also modified. This will cause a significant amount of data transfer in the maintenance session. Previous work design compact map representation and transfer only modified map data to elevate this problem. However, it needs pairwise map comparison to find differences across the entire map. This will lead extra computation workload pressure on resource-limited mobile agents and get limited data volume reduction. The second challenge is that the map expansion exacerbates the memory footprint. The global map on edge server contains large redundancy, which caused by the revisit to the same areas in the single agent case, and the different agent shares the co-visible area in the multiple agent case. Due to the device heterogeneity and diverse running status, the quality of maps provided by different agents may vary largely. An ideal map compression should remove those low-quality redundancy while retaining the high-quality counterpart. However, 
existing work ignore such differences when compressing the map data, resulting in degraded slime performance. Under the edge settings, the localization accuracy of an agent highly depends on the quality of the local map, which is optimized at the edge side. Typically, an agent needs to periodically send optimization requests to the edge server. As the number of agents scales, the concurrent queue requests from different agent block at the at nodes processing queue, resulting in excessive queuing delay. Some agents get their optimization tasks done untimely, causing severe localization errors. Recent multi-agent collaborative slime solutions focus, focus on map fusion and optimization on edge or cloud servers, but ignore the task queuing issue for each agent. So, how Swarm Map can scale up collaborative visual slime? We find that map change on the one side can be reproduced on the other side by solely transferring the map change operations. As the figure illustrating, when the deletion event occurs on the agent map, the map point is deleted, and its relevant frames and map point are also modified. We transfer the event to the server and replay it on the corresponding map point. The same modification will be also reproduced on the relevant map element. And thus, the server map and the agent map are synchronized. This enables a lightweight map synchronization by avoiding transferring mass massive data itself significantly reduce the bandwidth overhead. To address the global map redundancy issue, we find that the data quality among different agents' map can be balanced by elements in co-visible areas. So we can leverage redundant elements in co-visible areas to enhance the low-quality map segments. With a more balanced map, we can remove large portions of the redundant map data without sacrificing the map accuracy. To solve the problem brought by conventional scheduling strategy, we give each request a priority. Request whose agent has unstable tracking state or with higher information gain will be processed earlier so that we can decrease the tracking loss rate and get a map with higher quality in the meantime. Based on our key insights, we design Swarm Map, a framework that scales up collaborative visual slime service in the edge of loading settings. The architecture of Swarm Map is illustrated as the figure. Swarm Map shares some similar edge-based architecture with previous works and provides extra system support on both mobile agent and the edge server side. Specifically, our design includes three parts marked with bold font, the MapPit, the MBP, and the STS. To reduce the transmission overhead, we design MapPit, a lightweight map information tracker to automate the operation tracking and reproducing on the mobile and edge. MapIt contains five operations, add, aggregate, push, merge, and pull. MapIt add tracks some function calls, and which will be recorded as log. The log data is compressed with MapIt aggregate, and then MapIt push and pull to reproduce the operations on the other side. On the server, the map is merged, tried to merge the local map into global map. The atomic operation add registers a hook for each slam function call and maintains a recording queue. Whenever an important function is called, the operation records containing the element type, the influenced map element ID, and the corresponding function name, parameter, is added to the operation queue. At the end of each period, MapIt aggregates the record in the operation queue to reduce the, their size. The intuition is that some removal or merges on certain types of functions will generate equivalent effects. If a function changes the location of the map point and is marked as overridden, we only need to focus on the latest record of it and ignore all previous operations on the map point. As for those marked as stackable, 
The implication is that records about modifying the same element can be merged by parameters. For example, performing n times the increase visible function with parameter 1 has the same effect with performing only once with parameter n. In this way, MapIt produces a minimal size containing necessary information. To solve the global map redundancy issue, we introduce a map backbone profiling algorithm and uh, perform profiling-based redundancy elimination. Unlike the current practice, we do not greatly remove redundant map elements in the core visible areas. Instead, we first uh, profile each map element and each segment, and then leverage this redundant element to generate a series of virtual keyframes and use them to improve the low-quality map segments. Once the overall quality of the global map got improved, we can thus compress the global map without compromising the mapping quality. We introduce STS, the first SLAM specific task scheduler that gets the edge to prioritize requests. The STS runs both on the agent and on the server. STS on the agent periodically reports its status by sending heartbeat packets which is used to decide which queue the request should be pushed to. If an agent tracking state is marked as lost, the request is pushed into lost handling queue, which owns the highest priority. If the agent has a velocity burst or merely track few map points, which is prone to load self-tracking, the request is pushed to the lost provision queue, which is of the second highest priority. If the agent is stably running, the request is pushed into the map enrichment queue. The requests in the same queue are ordered by the information gain to the global map. The STS on the server reduces the score given by MBP and evaluates each request and orders them by their contribution scores. We implement SOAR map and conduct experiments on real-world field studies and official SLAM datasets. We compare SOAR map against the three SODA systems, CCM, SLAM, Multi UAV, and CarMap. We first compare SOAR map with CCM, SLAM, and Multi UAV to most relevant SOTA edge-based multi-agent SLAM systems to evaluate the overall performance. As seen in Figure A and B, SWARM map achieves the best tracking and localization performance in all scenarios. The localization errors also significantly degraded by more than 40%. When serving more than 10 agents, on the other hand, the performance of CCM, SLAM, and multi UAV degrades remarkably. In contrast, SOAR map can still bound ATE and location error within 40 cm and 1.4 m, even serving 20 agents on our dataset. We further examine the end to end latency of each agent from uploading map segment to eventually obtaining the optimized map from the edge node. As seen, the total latency of SOAR map is around 95 ms and 105 ms for 5 and 15 agents respectively, outperforming baselines by more than 40% and 65%. We then measure the bandwidth demands of these three systems. As shown in Figure A, some map reduces at least 20% bandwidth compared with the existing works. In other words, some map can serve more agents with the same wireless link throughput. We next conduct a 30 minutes experiment on the public dataset Kitty to measure the RAM usage. As shown in Fig B, compared to CCM, some map saved an average memory overhead of 2 GB and 6 GB when serving 5 and 15 agents respectively, and the map set becomes stable under an upper bound once the whole thing is well mapped. We then conduct an ablation study to understand the effectiveness of each module in SWAP map. As seen, MapIt saves 
nearly two times the bandwidth compared to CCM's line and benchmark on audit site. MapIt performed slightly worse than CarMap on Kitty and Eurog Dictat, where the operating environment are relatively large. In these scenarios, the agents spend most, most of their time in the co-start session during which they continuously transfer the newly generated map elements. We compare MBP with the map compression algorithm SumMap. Although the map compression ratio of MBP is a little smaller than that of SumMap, MBP barely sacrifices the accuracy of the global map. We evaluate STS by counting the average tracking loss percentage. Despite the increasing service scale, SwarmMap maintains a stable service quality, and the loss percentage is within 4% in all scenarios. This is a summary of our work. We propose SwarmMap, a framework to scale up the real-time collaborative visual slam services as resource-constrained as devices. We also provide additional system services to enhance system scalability which can be utilized by other collaborative visual slam systems. We implement SwarmMap compatible with the robotic operating system and open source it. We conduct extensive evaluations and a three-month pilot study demonstrate SwarmMap's superior performance. That's all. Thank you.